So in the fall of 2010 and the fall of 2011, in the introductory software engineering class, um, I had the students do um, Android-based applications. So we used the Android emulator, which is, you will discover in a moment, has some drawbacks in terms of speed. Um, but one of the applications that was produced uh, by a team which had um, Saeed El um, you can step over here so you can come to the picture, and um, Robbie Daly, who we hope to have later in the video, um, produced this um, uh, GPS aware um, list, which they call GeoList. Um, and what we try and do is demonstrate um, some of the, uh, the way the application works. Um, there are some limitations in that because of the computer is not GPS aware, we have to tell it where we are. So, Sai, why don't you press the send button? So that, that will start up the uh, That's why we didn't use the send button. Okay, and so what happens is that if we highlight that, we get um, this uh, window here. and. Here are the um, uh, the items that are on the list. One can add additional items. Here's a menu. Um, there are different views. You can see just the list, um, and you can add a new entry. Um, so why don't you add a new entry site? That at least should work. problems with the uh, location of the term. Maybe the thing is in zip code to move it. No, 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 fine. No. And so this is presumably this, this one of these two at the top. And in here, I will press roll. Give you a menu, a menu option, either edit or mark as complete. If you want to edit anything, you can just do it. Oh, here. okay. Uh, that's good. So we can already see that. So the first one we know is the home. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, and um, the these distances are the distances from. No, we can't go. Is that really how far you come to St. Joe's every day? No, um, that's actually from Quaker Town. Oh, from that's the location is with a Quaker Town. That's right. right. Um, now, one of the things that, can you go to the split view? Sure. So if we go to the split view, what is supposed to be, what, 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 you, what you're supposed to be able to do when we're having some problems with this particular incarnation is if you click on one of these things, say if you try clicking on this, oh, got to work. Um, so get directions and choose a map. maps. Eventually, so there we are. So you can actually get the directions. So we got it to work. So we don't actually need. Uh, now, Said actually has it installed on his um, f uh, phone, um, so we can do it that way. Um, but um, there's an indication in my work. So it's, as you can see, it's integrated with Google Maps. Um, and this might be more um, So anyway, that's that's a sort of overview of, of the way the project works. Um, I think you're probably not going to get this because the, the, the emulator is not GPS aware. Correct. Um, can you go back? Just to recap. Um, what, what I can tell you from when they, the students made their presentation, that one of the members of the team, Mike Zaro, um, actually um, had put in his um, home address and his campus address. And um, his home address is down the Jersey Shore. And he had it, all, had it on, on his phone all the way from when he drove down to the shore, watching the distances, and indeed, as he got, as he got halfway, home and campus swapped on the list, so Correct. you can actually see that, that, that it happens in real time. Um, so that gives you um, a taste of what the application does, um, and 
Four students on the team who did this, um, and um, they actually, um, between the first and the second version, they did some substantial revisions of the architecture to make the uh, application faster, and, uh, and even on the emulator, so one can tell the difference. So uh, I, th I think this is a very successful way to teach um, software engineering, and um, we hope to continue doing it. stars. This is one of the items that is listed in my list. Here is a have map that it can move. Split screen. I click in my priority list. It took me right away to there. I hit on the pin asking for the direction. Get the direction. I choose what method I wanted to use. I use the maps. Now, I can use both ways. I can use either just get the direction information or I can just use navigation which is take me to life like a satellite. Now, it's a live view. Dr. Hutchins, have you seen it? Okay. Now, It's still searching. Yeah, yeah I, you're not likely to pick up too much from inside. Mm -hmm. Now it gave me all the direction, all the routes. Up until to the end. Final destination. It shows you the house and everything. Updated version. And actually, we are in a front of the house right now. It is a car park. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. And we hear the person and knocking on the front door. Okay, that's this very is nice. wonderful. Yeah. This is fantastic. Is it a good job? Yeah. And of course, it has the option that you press on it. It will just take you as you drive. Mm -hmm. It goes a little bit by a little bit, update the distance. It shows you where you're at exactly. And any options here you want, any gas station, anything around you, you can just... There's a compass to... Um, you. All, all of this is from the Google. From the Google, of course. Uh, which is integrated in, into your... In our uh, maps, service, yes. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. 
the other one is just options how to control the screen and the setting as you can go back one by one it tells you everything cancel okay and then we are back and go back to the normal yeah. map and the phone automatically detects where your location at and once you enter your priority list it's sorted out as the closest location to the farthest one so it saves you time organize your list basically daily and that's it okay well the whole idea of the GU list was for us it was like a dream we wanted to make it true and the only challenge for that one to do is how to get the Google map to be activated the way we wanted to do how to estimate the destination and how to sort it out in the beginning we had a little bit uh, issue it would not detect it and it would not show the right results we wanted to be and that's the only thing it took us some time to develop and then after that as soon as we get that work everything went smooth afterwards uh, I, I should say that the only other thing that, that I noticed was that the first version was substantially slower than the second one. But the first version used a strict model view controller implementation, sure. and but then they were able to um, launch off that into a, a slightly different architecture, um, which was more closely integrated, which meant that it was, it was much faster. So from the point of view of, of um, an instructor, um, seeing the students having to um, wrestle with configuring an architecture to produce better performance was I think a very valuable experience both for me and for the students to see that happen. That's true because a matter of fact now that I recall is um, as we start designing it we changed the design uh, interface I would say maybe three times and each time for the best and it become more simpler and easier to use and look more elegant. That's true.